Andrew McCarr, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Let me try and get these both in. There we go. I'm here with, it seems to be a disappointed Mohamed Samir. Now, I mean, it's only your second pro fight. What I saw, you looked good. You switched it. You, you, you switched from southpaw to orthodox quite elegantly. Like, I, sometimes you wouldn't even notice it. So you showcased your, your skills and what you can do. So I'm going to ask, why are you disappointed about that performance? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's been like... The last time I fought was in December 2019, my debut, mm -hmm. and ever since then I haven't really fought. And um, mentally, do you know what I mean? It, it's kind of draining. Three camps. I had like I had a fight in March, which got cancelled three days before the fight. Then I had another one in December, and that got cancelled because of some paperwork. I couldn't go abroad to fight. And um, with this one, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, swear, I want to. He, he's only happy if he gets a stoppage. He says to me, "If I don't stop him, I don't win." I said, "Samir, you can't look at it like that." Exactly. But to me, listen, I, I can see little errors that he'd done, but that's ring rust. Yeah, he got caught clip of silly shots, but only because he was switching off because of the lesser opponent. When he's in the ring and he's sparring in the gym, mate, he's looking mustard with because he's sparring better opponents. But when he was in there tonight, I could just see him switching off, not focused. But I know when when the crowds are back. I can't wait to see his fans. A thousand tickets this kid sells, you know what I mean? And when they're all behind him, it's like a Warrington thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just add to that because obviously it's streaming on IFL TV right now and uh, normally we have maybe a thousand to two thousand people watching the first fight of the night. We've got nearly six thousand with you to watch on IFL. So there was six thousand fans watching you fight just now as the opening for this card. So. It's put a smile on your face. It's a uh, record breaker. It's put a smile on your face at least, Samir, is that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? They were going mental. They were ringing me in all sorts. A lot of them wanted to come. They, they, asked, they were asking me if we could isolate as well in the hotel. There's about a good hundred of them saying that, actually. But yeah, man, I love my supporters, honestly. The whole of Peterborough is behind me. My first fight, I sold, uh, sold about 350 tickets. Like, easy, simple. And my second one in March, I sold 450. So it was just growing and stuff, but... It is what it is, man. Do, do, you feel, do you feel like you showcase your skills in there a little bit for, obviously, for fans and for folk that may have watched IFL stream and watched you tonight that haven't seen you before? Do you feel like you've shown us a little snippet of what you can do? Yeah, definitely. Actually, definitely. Like, I could box, I could brawl, I could switch and all that. But um, today, I think it was just a bit of ring rust and stuff. Obviously, I'm sorry if I let anybody down. No. But, um, yeah, man. <laughs> On, he's talking like he's lost, isn't he? Man, he's talking really like he's lost. He's a nutter, isn't he? But no, listen. Obviously, as his trainer, as, as his trainer, listen. I'm happy to see him come out. Shout out points win. It's, you know what I mean, it wasn't even close. So ignore him. If you haven't seen the fight, ignore what he's saying. It was a shutout points win. Um, I was happy. He showed his skills. He was like you're saying, he's switch hitting so gracefully. Um, something we've been working on. His distance, his timing, we've been working on. Settling down on his feet. Everything. He's ticked all the boxes for me. Yeah. But the only one box he didn't tick was obviously the stoppage yeah. that he wanted. But I was. I don't care about that. Sometimes, the, sometimes the four rounds and knowing that you can do the four he's rounds is easy. Is, 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 is to show you've done it. It's easy for you. You're fit. He's definitely, he's got the four threes behind him, he knows he can do it. But now let's, let's just see him when all the crowds are back or if we can get him out on another bill, which I hope we can, just hopefully close the deal next time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> uh, I want to obviously um, shout out my sponsors let, as well. Yeah, let me, let me he's got them there. Yeah, let me I'm, like, I'm the billboard. So, um, I'm the billboard. So well, I've got AutoNation, I've got Peterborough Cars, More Cars, Falcon Tyres, AA Accountants, Cover Shore, Bully Gang Kennels, Pack Foods, Super Chick, Medina Grill, oh, getting a bit bigger, Phantom Daddy. Lounge, keep moving that, so. Push and Car Wash. Obviously, big up MTK as well, man, for that, getting me up. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. I've got a few more. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. But like, uh, honestly, the sponsors and stuff, they sort me out all the time. Like, I don't even really have to go out. They come to me kind of thing. Because um, I'm from Peterborough. I'm from like the, um, the rough area of Peterborough. And yes, everyone's just supportive. Because I'm like the younger, that's like, everybody's seen me grow up, basically. And obviously they're just proud and stuff. There's no one really that's come out from Peterborough in my community that's done something. So they're all very supportive and stuff. And as you can see today with the IFL um, stream, they were just going crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the comment section was getting... Uh, SMG? SMG, 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 <laughs> SMG, 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 SMG. So, I mean, you've got the fawn. Now, you're in a middleweight division, tough division, great division. Historically, it's been a great division here in the UK. Historically, it's been a great division worldwide. Again, for both of you, how excited are you to be in this division? And hopefully, a couple more fights down the line, start getting your name up there at the top. Most definitely. Like, um, I don't shy away from anybody, honestly. Um, and I can't wait, man. It's just that 
I just need to stay a bit more active, get them rounds. But I don't really want to get rounds, but um, <laughs> just, you know, I just want to stay active, man. That's the main thing with me. Just need to get a few more fights. Definitely get around about four fights this year, hopefully in England. But yeah, man, we go from there. But I'm very excited for the future. I'm going to bring a lot. So we'll see, man. See, I'm glad you've got a smile on your face. You were pissed off. <laughs> Good. I'm happy. I'm happy. See, it's the, it's the likable jock, they call me. The likable <laughs> Scotsman. Uh, one final word on his performance tonight. And wait, and I'll, I'll add a wee bit more to that. How far can this kid go as well? This kid can go as far as he wanna goes. It is literally, I've always said it to him. He's got natural ability. Yeah. He's, got, he's gifted with the power. It's down to him how far he wants to go. He's in the gym all the time. Like we said, we've done three camps now for this one fight. He's hungry for it. He's a hungry kid. He reminds me of myself back when I used to fight, you know, so. You were in the team as well there. Yeah? <laughs> but no, it's literally, I wanna pass over the batter now and um, see him do well. So it's all up to him. Well, final word from yourself, Samir. I just want to say thank you to all my fans back home. I mean, my supporters. I don't want to say fans. It just sounds a bit dis uh, disrespectful. But thank you very much, honestly, guys. Without you, I couldn't do this, man. And my sponsors, big up my sponsors. Are we going through this again? <laughs> Are we going through this again? Big up, big up MTK, big up MTK, top people. And just, uh, um, big up the NHS as well, do you know what I mean? Nobody says that, but end of the day, yeah. Like, if it wasn't because of them, like, I'm from, I'm from Pakistan, do you know what I mean? And the NHS, look, for example, like small things like oh, an operation is free, do you know what I mean? Yeah. These are that. And in, now there's a coronavirus, they're risking their lives, do you know what I mean? I just want to say a big up to them, man, too. And yeah, man, thank you to the interview guy, too. What's his name? Scott, uh, isn't it? Andrew. Andrew, yeah. Big up, Andrew. That's it, man. I appreciate that, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, man, you did well, you did well. I appreciate you taking your time out. You've got one more to do with Matt from behind the gloves, so... Again, I, w I was impressed with your, your performance tonight. It was the first time I saw you fight. It's on your train awards, which is more importantly. So I'm glad you've got a smile on your face as well. Well done. Well done, mate. Nice one. Thank you, man. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, man. Anytime.